Brockhampton is 100% DIY right now. And I love that. I love that we're bedroom artists, you know? Because uh, for me, growing up, my bedroom was always like my little safe haven. It was my it was my little cave. It's like it was that sacred part of the universe, you know. It was like a it was like a room full of inspiration and wisdom, and it was just safe. It it was the dopest place in the whole universe, and it's all mine. And my room, it's orange, and I have all my influences on the wall. You see Tyler, you see Kanye, you see Cuddy, Stevie Wonder, Pharrell, of course, Nerd. It's it's messy and there's everything's all over the place like it is in my real brain, you know? And it's just it's just this magical environment. And it's always been that way. It's never really lost its power, you know? Like when I was younger and my parents would yell at me or I'd get in trouble or something. I'd I'd go to my room and just, you know, kinda of sit there and get sad and think about what happened. And as I got older I'd go to the room for the same purposes, you know, to, like, when I was in high school, I'd just deal with normal high school shit, girls, heartbreak, stress, depression, you know, just, just life in general. And it's, it's always been this place for me where I can imagine, like, an alternate universe where I'm doing whatever the hell I want, and there's no consequences, and I'm completely free. And it's always just been, like, my room is the coolest place in the universe and no one can take that away from me and there's nowhere else I'd rather be there's nowhere else I'd rather create